concept for X-Men Destiny really was a collaboration between, you know, Marvel, Activision, and Silicon Knights, and we're really trying to create something uh, different for the universe. X-Men Destiny is about choice. Choice in the narrative sense, choice with your powers, with your abilities, your play styles, your character. It's all about making the game what you want it to be. There's been a lot of games where you could play, you know, well-known X-Men characters like Wolverine. So what we wanted to do was create a universe that's definitely rich with those characters, but create a style of game where you could choose your own path through those and really mold it in ways that, you know, would make it a different experience. X-Men Destiny takes place in San Francisco. Professor Xavier is dead. Mutants are missing, and the X-Men are left leaderless. Cyclops has become the new leader of the X-Men, but they're disjointed, and the Brotherhood is seeming more and more attractive. They're declaring open war on anyone who threatens mutant kind. And you play a new mutant, one of three characters that we've worked with Mike Carey to envision and create of different backstories. Never before have you been able to choose different powers and different selections in a game like X-Men Destiny or a Marvel licensed game. There's a, a deep RPG system, but it's accessible, and you can customize your powers using pre-existing mutant powers from the franchise, from the Marvel Universe. We've got a lot of great talent in X-Men Destiny acting to you know, bring the characters to life. We've got Milo Ventimiglia of Heroes fame. It's what being a superhero is all about, isn't it? We've got Jamie Chung, fresh off of Sucker Punch. I know a lot of X-Men are upset with him, but everything he does, he does for a reason. We wanted to make sure that this was an authentic X-Men experience from start to finish, so we wanted voice talent that could pull it off. This is a very creepy place. Really, you're taking this new mutant that's discovering their new power, and you're really telling the story of how they played out. There's offensive X-Genes, defensive X-Genes, and utility. These are based on characters in the Marvel Universe. So you can get Wolverine's healing, you can have Emma Frost's diamond skin, you could have Iceman's freezing abilities. Our use of mocap for all the scenes uh, also allowed to have some very natural movement, natural fidelity, uh, has a slightly realistic edge. It adds believability. The other thing it, it, I always like mocap for is, is you're working with a human being, you're working with an actor, and uh, you, you can get something back that maybe you're not expecting. In the Marvel Universe, almost everybody is sided, right? You're either a Brotherhood or you're X-Men. Sometimes they flop, but you have to choose. Your goal is to create this new mutant, and you really need to hear both sides of the story. You're going to choose your team, and that's the whole point. What embodies a member of the X-Men or a member of the Brotherhood of Mutants is really their ideals and their beliefs, and we really wanted to show that you know your character going down a certain path is an evolution of how they think and how they feel and how they behave. I find that one of the most interesting and exciting parts of the game is really the rich content. We really get to interact in very deep and meaningful ways within the universe and get exposed and explore a, a lot of that that I think I think really sets the game apart and, and I hope gamers like it as much as I do.